Liam, congratulations first of all on your uh, QTS sponsored man of the match. You'll be buzzing for that and the result. Yeah, you know, of course, uh, you know, the most important thing is that we get the results and we keep going and, uh, you know, we're on a good run of form right now and uh, we, have a tough, we have a tough game next week. But uh, I don't see uh, any reason why we shouldn't be fighting and competing for that since uh, the form that we're in at the moment. So, yeah. Let's uh, talk about your goal, first of all. Uh, cool, calm and composed, but the ball over. <laughs> Descri describe the ball from Saud. Well, I saw him put his head up, so I just ran. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to come to me, to be honest with you. But, like, honestly, it was an unbelievable ball from Saud. Literally, I've... Don't think I've ever seen a hit a ball better in my life, to be fair. Like, but uh, but no, honestly, it was unbelievable. And then uh, uh, you know, I saw the keeper come out, and he was a little bit too far this way, and uh, I just put it. I, I just saw it beside him. So is that what you, you've been practicing stuff like that in training? Then I take it just trying to keep your composure and slide it underneath the goalkeeper. Yeah, of course. Like I said, you know, I'm trying to add goals uh, and assists and numbers and stuff to my game, and and uh, you know, it helps obviously getting a goal now but uh, yeah, in training I've been working on relaxing and being more composed and, and, uh, and finishing and stuff because I tend to do everything at like 100 miles an hour and, and you know, sometimes you just need to relax and calm down and that's what I did today so. Second goal, Liam um, it was a, a really good goal the running through from uh, El McCreaney and from Power as well to get him in was, was just great again, again, it's another really good quality goal Yeah, you know, it was a good team goal and you know, that just shows when we keep the ball and we move it as a team instead of just kicking along all the time you know it, it, it works and, and 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 we create chances from it and that's a prime example um and you know it was a good finish from mo i said to mo i said mate i was open he could have passed him <laughs> but, but you know it was a good finish from him i'm happy for him i'm buzzing for him he deserves it he's a great player so. it, it was overall it was it was a really good game the first half took its time to get going but i want to focus just now quickly on the fact that we've got a fourth clean sheet now that's a big, big confidence booster, is it not? Not just for from the goalkeeper to the defenders, but for the boys that want to get yeah. forward. No, of course. Like I said, you know, you know, to win games you have to score goals, but you also have to not concede goals too. And you know, since uh, since Dario's come in, it's also been a big improvement too. It's he's, it's helped a lot. I um, mean, just the way he is, he's very demanding and very, and he's a leader on the field. On the field, you know. So, um, you know, he helps a lot in Stu and Sods and Nico and and. Uh, and the thing you're doing well as well, like they're all doing brilliant at the moment, you know, and uh, and it's just the thing is we got to keep going. We got to keep trying to push these clean sheets because at the end of the day, that's, that's what helps us win games. So, And of course, next week's going to be tough. We've got Celtic coming up. Hibs again in the Cup coming up soon as well. But again, two big games coming up, especially away to Celtic. Yeah, you know, obviously uh, last year I had a good game there. Uh, Celtic Park last year, uh, you know, it's a, it's a great environment. You know, like I say, it's probably the closest thing to, to Liverpool, you know, because they sing they, you, you'll never walk alone and all that kind of stuff. So uh, it's always good to play there and to experience it. Uh, you know, obviously, Celtic's obviously a very good team, and, you know, playing against Greg again will be good as well. Um, but, uh, you know, it's just, uh, you know, it just, I think we just got to be mentally ready for it and not think that we've lost a game before we've gone into it, and uh, we'll see what can happen. But I think we can get a result out of it. Well, we wish you the best of luck for thank the Celtic you. game, Carol, and thank you very much, thank and you. well done thank today. You.